Okay, I was on John twelve seventeen through 21. The people, therefore, that was with him when he called Lazarus out of his grave and raised him from the dead, bear record. For this cause the people also met him, for they that heard, or that they heard that he had done this miracle. The Pharisees therefore said among themselves, Perceive you how you prevail nothing? Behold, the world is gone after him. And there were certain Greeks among them that came up to worship at the feast. The same came therefore to Philip, which was of Bethsaida, Bethsaida, of Galilee and desired him saying sir we would see Jesus Job uh, 32 through 8 yeah where to might the strength of their hands profit me in whom old age was perished for want and famine they were solitary fleeing into the wilderness in former time desolate and waste who cut up mallows by the bushes and juniper roots for their meat they were driven forth from among men. They cried after them as after a thief to dwell in the cliffs of the valleys in caves of the earth and in the rocks. Among the bushes they braid under the nettles they gathered together. They were children of fools, yea, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. Romans 4, 7-9 saying, Blessed are they whose iniquities are forgiven and whose sins are covered. Blessed is the man to whom the Lord will not impute sin. Cometh this blessedness then upon the circumcision only, or upon the uncircumcision also? For we say that faith was reckoned to Abraham for righteousness. Wow, guys. First Peter 2.9 but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Second Corinthians 1, 8 through 10 For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure above strength, insomuch that we despaired even of life. But we had the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God, which raised the dead. Who delivered us from so great a death, and does deliver, in whom we trust that he will yet deliver us? James 1, 5-7 If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that gives to all men liberally, and upbraids not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, not wavering, for he that wavers is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. Colossians 1, 15-17 Who is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of every creature? For by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in the earth, visible and invisible, or invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. 1 Timothy 2, four, Who will have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth? Mark 2.4-5 and when they could not come near unto him for the press, they uncovered the roof where he was. And when he had broken it up, they let down the bed wherein the sick of the palsy lay. When Jesus saw their faith, he said unto the sick of the palsy, Son, thy sins be forgiven thee. Ephesians two twelve through 15 that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, you who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace. Wow. And this is Hebrews 7, 7-12, the last one. 
and without doubt the lesser is blessed by the greater. In the one case, the tenth is collected by people who die, but in the other case by him who is declared to be living. One might even say that Levi, who collects the tenth, paid the tenth through Abraham, because when Melchizedek met Abraham, Levi was still in the body of his ancestor. If perfection could have been attained through the Levitical priesthood, and indeed the law given to the people established that priesthood, why was there still need for another priest to come, one in the order of Melchizedek, not in the order of Aaron? For, wow, you guys, wow. For when the priesthood is changed, the law must be changed also. This, like, this is literally showing how narrow the path is, how narrow the gate is, because so many are under the curse of law and works and they don't even realize it. I hope that this is reaching those who need to hear it. I love you in Christ and I'm praying for you. Um, God bless you. I hope that um, the Lord's message um, touches your heart um, because he is truly trying to wake his people and save more of his people. He loves you um, and I love you in Christ. God bless you.